After 20 years in business, a well-known coffee shop in Albuquerque says it may have to close its doors. Its owners are blaming ART construction on Central near Knob Hill, but as News 13's Marissa Lucetto found out, employees are doing everything they can to stay open. Nestled down Harvard Drive is a community of brick businesses. Winning coffee is just one of the favorites. It's a good spot for people to come and start their day off. I'm here almost every day, um, either between classes or after class, sometimes more than once. <laughs> Sydney Abernathy isn't alone. Winning Coffee's owners say their customers come in to study, eat, make friends, and whether you're inside or out, mostly everyone is drinking a cup of something hot. Sumatra is pretty good. I have an addiction to dirty chai and this is where I come for it. So when they saw this sign asking customers to help save winning coffee, they knew something wasn't right for a business that's been around for 20 years. That's really all we need is just for people to kind of recognize what's happening because all of the people on our street are suffering. Owner Sandy Timmerman says she blames ART construction for the rapid decline in sales. She says typically their slow months are when students at UNM are out for the summer, but not this year. Timmerman says business is down nearly 15% from this time last year. So we were just like, wow, is this the moment after 20 years? Do we say we're done? Do we sell? Do we close the doors? Timmerman says she broke the news to her staff, but they refused to close. They started an online campaign to raise money. In two days, they've raised more than $6,000. Customers say they're not stopping there. We need this. We cannot lose all the businesses here in the city of Albuquerque. So I hope that we can all rally together and keep winnings here. I mean, it's like it, there's nothing ever at all like it in the entire world. It's extremely unique. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. The businesses along Harvard are applying for permits with the city in order to block off the road and host a block party. It will be held April 1st. Businesses say they're calling it the April Fool's Art Fest.